Hey guys, so recently I was asked a question about what exactly a 1-4-5 progression is in terms of a standard blues progression. And this really came from people asking me about the Berkeley audition process. One of the things I'll ask you to do is to play over a standard blues 1-4-5 progression. In Roman numerals that'd be 1-4-5, that's how it's usually written. So, I was just going to demonstrate for people who aren't really clued in to that kind of music theory what exactly 145 is. The likelihood is you'll know exactly what it is. You probably just haven't learned what most people call it in theory. So, 145, where does that come from? In your standard run of the mill scales, you have seven notes. So, in a G major scale, let's just take G major. We're going to number each one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. This is assuming you have a basic handle on, on music theory, because I could do a whole music theory thing, but this is just for this, you know, just for this progression. You can build chords off every single one of those degrees. So each one of those degrees can become a chord. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So, we still have these basic notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. But now, you're actually building chords on them. So, what people mean when they're saying, let's play one, four, five, like a standard blues progression, they mean, let's play the chords based off those notes. And if I just put it in pure pop terms without any jazzy stuff on top in the key of G, here's one, here's four, here's five, and here's one. So I'm going to play that in some kind of sequence, just a basic pop version, no crazy jazz stuff on top. So this will be one, four, Five, one, and basically that's your one four five. Not standard blues yet, but that's the basic theory of where one four five comes from. So you're building off one four and five on the scale of G. One two three four five six seven. So you have your one four five, and this is you know pop rock kind of standard. You know you could do them in folk. And I tend to modify my chords a little bit just to, yeah, just to be different. But when you're talking about a, a standard blues 1-4-5 progression, you're not just talking about the chords, but you're also talking about the length of that, you know, how long that progression takes to, to play through. So first of all, your standard 1-4-5 in blues is going to sound a little different. Your one, your basic one chord in blues isn't going to sound like this. It's going to sound probably a little more like this. It's got that blues tinge to it. That comes from adding the seventh note. I don't want to go there because I don't want to confuse you. But that's your one. And then your four. Five. One. So it's got a totally different feel to it now. Standard blues progression, one, four, five. You're gonna add the form to it. And when I play through it, you guys are probably gonna go, oh, okay, I get what it is because it's so prevalent in modern music. So I'm gonna play a basic progression and I'll talk you through the numbers. So here's one. You might go to the four, but you're still on the one. Now, here comes the four. Back to the one. Now you're gonna go to the five. Back to the four. And back to the one. So, standard one, four, five progression is basically a blues progression that is purely based on uh, the one, the four, and the five chords. 
And again, they're based off one, four, five, one. And even if I just play those notes, you can probably already hear that harmony over four. So when Berkeley's saying we'd love you to improvise or a standard 12 bar you know, blues progression like one four five one, they're gonna play something really similar to that. Maybe we'll add in a, you know different chords here and there, because you can you know you can really fill in some gaps. But that is the most basic thing. So you know if you're a singer, you'll probably you know scat over it, guitar player, solo over it, whatever instrument you play, you're gonna be playing along to something like that. And that's just one of the examples. So I hope that this is not too bizarre. Um, I'm just going to quickly review everything. So, where do the 1, 4, 5 come from? The numbers of the scale. Here's your basic G major scale. Each one numbered. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. You build chords off those. 1 is major. 4. 5. 1. When it becomes bluesy, those chords become bad boys. One, four, five, back to one. And then a standard blues progression, one, four, five, we'll use those three chords to create a progression like I played earlier. And uh, yeah, if you search anywhere on YouTube, Google it, there are so many blues tunes that are based off that bass progression basic progression. So yeah, this is just a little, little basic, I mean this is super, you know, just basic theory. I didn't really pre-plan this, I just sort of thought, you know, I've had a couple of questions about this, I might as well just throw down what I have right now. Yar! So I really hope this helped. If you have any more questions, you know, you just message me. And remember, I'm Robert Gillis, and you did just get robbed. Silly. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>